headed to a cave called Scotino Cave and Scotino Cave uh, is known to be a goddess worship cave. It's a fertility cave. People go there to um, prepare for pregnancy and uh, it's also connected to eros and sexuality. It was a cave where they worshipped Artemis uh, and that's the Greek goddess of fertility. So we're gonna go check out this cave. Uh, hopefully it's open and we're gonna do a meditation in there and maybe some prayer. So follow us as we go Turn check right. out the Scotino Cave in Crete, Greece. So that's a, a stalemite, I think it's called. Basically, it forms over thousands of years. Like one inch it takes like hundreds and hundreds of years to grow. And so it's coming from the bottom, from the top down, from the bottom up, and they're joining in the middle. And the thickness shows like how old this thing is. Thousands, guaranteed thousands of years. Thousands. And um, yeah, for me, it represents uh, the union of heaven and earth. A lot of power. It feels very intense in here. It's intense through my hands, through my whole body. The energy of how many people so long ago prayed and meditated and worshipped in this space. Like you said, it's like a, a womb space. So it feels, it feels like a place of worship for the goddess, yeah. a place of prayer, and a place to ask. Mm. So I've asked, yeah. Mm. Fertility cave, healthy fertility in all of the womb is your area of creation. Asking to be blessed here. Mm. Yeah, lots of gratitude. Gratitude for the journey I've been on. Gratitude for having the goddess by my side. Completely feeling her on my journey on this planet. Completely feeling like we are channels for her work. For the resurrection, the return of the feminine, but not only the feminine of, in terms of female, but the feminine in terms of the mother and the unconditional love of the mother, uh, a new way of being in the world, uh, a way that's uh, not linked to power over and power structures, but uh, harmony and unity between all and an appreciation of how everything comes together to serve each other and a, a faith that if we return to nature and we return to the simplicity of the earth and the voice of the mother that all will be all right and I don't expect it to uh, be miraculous and to happen overnight or even in my lifetime but knowing that it's flowing through me and 
the opportunity to be in these places that I'm doing my humble part to be a ripple to be the resonance of her work to focusing on healing myself it's for the whole world it's for the whole earth so we just have to focus on what's inside hmm as we heal ourselves we heal the world yeah no. it's absolutely breathtaking in here powerful I see uh, this first one to me feels like a, a phallus resurrection coming out of the darkness the death yeah. of the cave we went really deep into the cave we saw we found the starlight built an altar, we meditated, we prayed, we connected ourselves to the earth and to the heavens, through self-pleasuring, recognizing we are sovereign, independent, full and complete. I saw Alaya as a representation of my other half. The word that came out of my mouth when we got out of the cave, or when we just paused at the mouth of the cave, was sister. Yeah, that was complete. That was love. And that was the mother already. The all and absolutely nothing sitting in the depths of the cave and seeing the majesty of nature. Recognize how we are part of this whole. One thing I recognized in the cave as well was, you know, I say that line, let love free. But what came to me is, love is already free. Love is already flowing. Love is already here. There's nothing we have to change. There's nothing we have to, like, create in the world for it to happen. There's nothing we have to call in. There's nothing we have to pray for. You just have to be. You just have to be that love. You just gotta let it flow through us. We have access to it already. It's incredible. It kind of feels like a rebirth. Mm. Coming out of the womb of this cave. Mm. Into the light and the warmth. Mm. It's a beautiful feeling. Mm. Not much more to say than that. Don't have any big ending. Don't have any more words of wisdom. It just is what it is. <laughs> <laughs>